in a chlorine molecule, what type of bond would we find? We look up the value of electronegativity for chlorine, it is exactly 3.0. Subtracting a like number gives us a zero difference, pure covalent. In a molecule of HCl, we find the value of 3.0 for chlorine. The value for electronegativity for hydrogen is 2.1. When I subtract those two, it is a 0.9, therefore classified as polar covalent. Looking up NaCl, electronegativity difference, again 3.0 for chlorine, 0.9 for sodium, gives us a difference of 2.1, that is a number greater than 2, therefore that bond is known as ionic. These values are just simply being found using this particular trend in the electronegativity diagram right out of our chemistry book. I find the value in the element box and subtract the two elements that I'm bonding together to find their electronegativity difference. Water is said to be a polar molecule, and this is just an example of showing polarity using an, a, a glass rod that has been charged. If a stream of water is attracted to a charged glass rod, the water itself must also be charged. In this picture, this is a stream of hexane, C6H14 uh, is that uh, organic molecule. And again, if I have a glass rod that has been charged and I stream hexane, this must be a nonpolar molecule because there is no attraction between the charge on the glass and the actual stream of fluid coming down. Water is attracted, hexane is not. Water must be polar, showing charged areas. Hexane is a nonpolar since there simply is no attraction there. To determine whether an NO bond is ionic, covalent, or polar covalent. So our example has us find, using our chart, the electronegativities for each of the elements. Nitrogen is exactly 3.0. Oxygen is 3.5. The difference between those is found to be 0.5. Large minus the small number, so it always ends up to be a, an absolute value, a positive. 0.5 is the difference between nitrogen and oxygen. And referring back to where that would fall on our scale, 0.5 lies in the polar covalent region. The more electronegative element between nitrogen and oxygen is oxygen, therefore it would develop the more negative region. And so we would think about that structure for NO, having the partial negative on oxygen and the partial positive on nitrogen. The electron pull towards the more electronegative element.